Hey everyone! Oh my god, I'm doing another video. Um, anyway, right, this one, I'm going to concentrate more on discussing um, coloured acrylics. This was a simple set where I'm using blue velvet from Glitter Bells and their liquid silver from Glitter Bells and some Glitter Arty glitters. So I have removed the previous design, which was the pastel blue and flower set from a few videos ago. I've taken it right down. I have prepped the natural nail growth. I've also kept this video, um, I've only sped it up by like one little thing. So it's, I've kept it not really, really fast. Um, so yeah, I've prepped the natural nail. Um, I have dehydrated it. I haven't primed because I am using CJP's The One. Um, so far, I really love it. Anybody who's got their hands on it, it's really, really, really good. Um, like they say, you work it, and as you're working it, it gives you still got that time that you can keep playing with it, and I like to play and I like to fiddle. But as soon as I come away from that product, that's when it starts to set, and it sets quite quickly. But it's got the play in time, so whilst I'm fanny assing about and poking and prodding, it's still workable and still easy and it doesn't start setting until I'm finished and I back off and then it cures really quickly. So yeah, I really love it. I managed to get two bottles. Yay me. Um, right, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going in and I am infilling that regrowth that I have prepped and not primed. Freaks me out, but it works. Um, with a clear acrylic that protects that natural nail growth so when my client comes back in I can just e-file back down to that base layer. People will say what do you do when you've got um, a coloured acrylic are you going to have to remove the whole set every time? No because you always have a base layer and you e-file back down to that base layer and then you redesign. Um, so my ladies are never having a soak off ever um, as long as my prep is key then there's no need to remove anything. I just remove any lifting, um, just prep the natural nail and go again. So this one we are doing a ombre with a glitter and I'm gonna be using metallic glitters, which um, I'm more of a holographic, but this is the best for this set. You'll see it works really, really well. So the metallics are lovely and I'm using a silver and a, oh God, I'm gonna have to put it in the description box. Uh, I don't know, it's a dark blue. It's like a royal blue. Ah, awful. Useless, isn't I? Hang on, it's probably on my desk. I'm walking over to my desk. Can't see it on my desk. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Hang on, hang on. Okay, these two glitters that I am ombre in, it is from the 008 metallic range, and we've got silver and midnight blue. That's why I couldn't think of it. It's midnight blue. So yeah, so I'm ombre in those in. I am picking up a tiny eye bogey size bead of clear acrylic, dipping it into raw glitter and working it a little bit at a time and ombre in. Um, again, I like to keep my glitters nice and raw. I don't like to pre-mix it because it means I can still use it on my gel polish, ladies. So everyone's a winner. And here we go with a marble. I'm using a blue velvet and liquid silver. And right about now, you won't be able to see what the fuck I'm doing, because I'm so good like that. But if you look back through the majority of my videos, I do lots of marbles, and it's like a swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Keep them wet and use the tip of your brush. Thank you. 
Okay, so we're going to do full colour acrylic on these nails, okay? There's no need to freak out. There's no need to worry. If you can gel polish somebody's nail, you can apply coloured acrylic. Apply it like a gel polish. You don't whack it, do you, with your brush? When you put a gel polish, you don't slap it all over the bloody nail, do you? Because if you push down on that acrylic bead, where's it going to go? It's going to squidge out the side of your brush. So you're gently, gently tapping it and pulling it into place. You're bumping around the cuticle and pulling it down. Now, when I go onto the little pointy finger in a minute, I'm going to slow it right down, like like really slowing it down um, in actual time so you'll be able to see it. I'm going to zoom in because my camera skills, I'm getting so freaking good. Um, and I'm going to talk you through it. You ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. Put that bead at the cuticle and hold it. Stop, stop. You've got to let that process of polymerization actually happen. Now I'm tapping with the tip of my brush. I'm keeping that brush full of monomer and then pulling down one side, tapping, 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 pulling down the other. That bit in the middle, it creates a gentle apex for this teeny tiny little fingernail and just painting it down the nail. It's like a gel polish. Don't think of it like coloured acrylic. Don't whack it because it will just squidge at the side of your brush. I am using the feathery tip of my brush. Just tip, tap, tip into place. Gel polish, channel gel polish. And finally, we're going to encapsulate the designs um, with a clear acrylic and just tap, 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 wipe down the side and pull down the middle. Gel polish. Just think gel polish. It's easy. Don't try and speed it up real quick. Don't get scared that it's acrylic and you've got to work really, really fast. Let that process of polymerization happen. Otherwise, you're just going to be trying to get that bead off your brush sooner than it's ready. You're going to pump all your liquid into it, trying to get it off the brush, and it will turn to a puddle of piss. Okay, so slow it down and think gel polish. Promise it will work. It will work. I hope you've enjoyed this one. It's pretty um, a boring tame. It's not boring. I think it's a really, really nice set, to be honest. Um, but I just really wanted to explain coloured acrylic and how I work it and how my tap, tap, wipe, tap, tap, wipe, how I make that work and what I mean when I say painting it down the nail. Um, just explain that coloured acrylics aren't scary. If you can gel polish a nail, you can do this. Just slow it down, okay? Um, really sorry if you can hear that clunking as well. Um, it's tumble dryer. So I'm going to go now. And I will speak to you again soon. Again, thank you so, so much for watching, subscribing, all oh, the lovely comments. Oh, you're so kind. Anyway, I will see you again soon, okay? I love you all. Bye!